humanity loves mobility. Human being doesn't want to be plugged to the wall and they want everything to be uh, accessible wherever they want, wherever they are and whenever they want. This is really a key conference because it is at a time where we've never seen so much innovation and growth in, you know, in the space economy and in the satellite industry. We have currently 2.6 billion unconnected people worldwide and WRC somehow can reduce this number uh, in an extensive way. Is where we agree the future spectrum. We harmonize spectrum and spectrum is our lifeline. It's the blood that makes mobile operators work. WRC is the perfect opportunity. In fact, the only uh, opportunity worldwide where the world comes and, and, and talks about uh, what radio resources should be allocated for what sort of services. That's one of the things I really like about the ITU study process is to take into account and make sure that we still protect the services that we rely on on a day-to-day -day basis. We are seeing you know, more women at this conference um, participating as chairs, counselors, and, and, and so forth. So we are seeing progress. I think all of that has been enhanced by the, the efforts from the WRC 19 uh, gender declaration. Outcome of this one will have impact on the industry, impact on the vendors, impact on other sectors. Spectrum and the associated orbital resources are a national resource that is scarce. We need to use it wisely. We all assume that Wi-Fi is there. We use it all the time. It's kind of omnipresent. But sometimes people forget that it also needs Spectrum. Spectrum, in a lot of ways, is fueling our future innovation. Uh, across a whole set of uh, national economic priorities, national security priorities, and of course continuing to advance a vibrant private sector. The decisions they take will have real world consequences and will affect the sustainable development goals. We're not agreeing on simple stuff, we're agreeing on the future of wireless communication, not only for us, but for our families and friends. Spectrum knows no border and therefore we need the cooperation, we need the collaboration between all the states worldwide to find the best solutions and therefore the WIC 23 is very important to know what is the future of the use of uh, spectrum. The rising tide, it will lift all of the boats, yes, and we have to work in cooperation, in collaboration, bearing in mind and bringing those along who are behind. <laughs>